Hey guys, it's the Farming Cuber with a video on how to solve the Skube. So once you get to know it, the Skube is actually a pretty easy puzzle to solve. I'd say it's uh, one of the easiest puzzles to solve uh, in the WCA. But the hardest part for people to figure out is how to turn it. And it amazes me how few tutorials actually go over this. So today, I'm going to fix that. So when you pick up a normal Rubik's Cube, whether it be anything from a 2x2 all the way up to a 19x19 or 33x33 even, uh, the Greg's puzzles 33x33, um, the n by n puzzles all have the same basic concept. They are face turning. So no matter what you do, they will always turn on the faces like so. And the same goes for a 3x3 as it does for this 2x2 here. A skew, on the other hand, if a 2x2 two two turns like this, a skew will turn like this around the corner axis, like that. So it takes a little bit of time to get used to how the skew turns and how to control it. But aside from that basic example, the best thing that will help you learn how to solve or learn how to turn the skew is to just learn how to control turns and mix it up. Um, and I just say, you know, take it around the house, wherever you are, as long as it's appropriate for where you're at and just start turning it. Just figure out how it turns and just walk around and turn it and whatnot. And then when you feel like you have a good understanding of how the skew turns, you can come back to this video. So the skew is solved in four basic steps. The first step is to solve the white layer like so. Then you go over to here and orient your corners. The next step, which it did for us, was put the yellow center on top, followed by solving the last four centers. So the first and the by far the hardest step in learning how to solve the skew is you want to go from this to the previously mentioned fully white layer, where you have your white face solved and all of the side stickers match like they do here. If it looks like this, then you did it wrong and it's a basic, uh, it's an easy thing to fix uh, when the time comes to do that. So let's just imagine for a second that this piece was not here. So I see this piece sitting here and to bring it up, I can just turn this up like that. And now we find another piece. So this piece can be solved in that same way. And here's where things can get a little bit tricky. So the first case you have is you have this in the bottom layer and you bring this up and it either kicks it out or the side color doesn't match like this. So in this case, what you do assuming there's nothing solved above it, is you twist this corner and then bring this up like that. The final case you can have is if it's facing down like this. And the first thing you do is you bring this up into the layer like this, but you still can't bring this up. And you can't twist this because there's a corner here and it's really confusing except it's not. You can twist this corner and bring this up, and this has only been moved out of the way so we can restore it. So that's how to solve the first layer. There's not a whole lot that I can do to help you uh, aside from just teaching the basic concepts and how it works. Um, it should come eventually uh, with enough practice. So that brings us to our second step, solving the yellow corners. 
The second step in solving this cube is orienting the top corners, and there are two possible cases you can get for this stage. The first, and harder to solve, is where you have two corners at a diagonal and two facing out like this. The second case is where you have none facing on top, you have two headlights facing any direction really, and then you have opposites. In this case, my headlights are to the left, I have this one, this yellow sticker facing forward, and this yellow sticker facing towards me. So, to solve this case where none of them are oriented, you turn it where the headlights are facing the right, and this sticker is facing towards you, and with the white on bottom, we do the one and only algorithm you will need to know to solve this cube. And if it helps, you can absolutely do this on the table. I know it, uh, it'll it help a lot of people because turning a skew can be pretty cumbersome. So, again, headlights facing this way, opposites. And I take this corner here and I go down. Then I take this corner and I go down. Then I take this corner and I go back up. And then I take this corner and I go back up. And that solves this case. The slightly more complex case you can get is this one, where they're diagonal. This one actually requires that you do that algorithm not once, but twice. So how you do this one is unlike where on the last case we have the one on the left facing towards us, this one the one we want to face us is the one on the right. So you can see diagonal is on the right and nothing is on the left. So put that aside. So again, set your skew down on a table, whatever. Turn this corner down. Turn this corner down. Turn this corner up and turn this corner up. And that should get you the second case where you have headlights and opposite and nothing on top and do the same thing again. Right down, left down, right up, left up. And that gets us our four corners on top. Now, in this particular case, it just so happened that we get the yellow center solved as well. But if you didn't get it, here's what you do to fix that. What you do is you hold your yellow center at the back and then you do that algorithm again. Right down, left down, right up, left up. And that gets us the headlight opposite case, but it's facing the wrong way. We want this sticker to be on the left. So what we do is we turn the cube 180 degrees so that this is facing us and this is, and the headlights are facing to the right. And then down, down, up, up. And that solves your top center and it just so happened to solve this skew. So, now that our top layer is done, we can move on to the last step, which is solving the last four centers. Now when you get to this step of the solve, there are three possible cases you can have if your cube has not if your cube has not already been solved. The first is where you have a three cycle like this. And there are two different cases where you have all four centers that need to swap. So starting with the three cycle, we solve it exactly like the top yellow sticker. So we find the sticker that is on top, we put the solved on the bottom, and we find our top sticker, put it at the back, and again we do down, down, up, up, turn the cube 180 degrees, down, down, up, up. 
And that solves the three cycle. And if you get either of these four cycle cases, don't be discouraged. They're only a little bit harder. It's just like the diagonal cases when we solve the top corners. So there are two possible four cycle cases that you can get. The first one is where you have all opposite colors on every side, obviously except white and yellow. And the second one is where you have adjacent colors. And it doesn't matter how you hold these, just make sure that either yellow or white are on either side. It doesn't matter what you put on the bottom because nothing's solved, just as long as it's not white or yellow. And uh, it doesn't matter how you hold it, just do that down, down, up, up, turn the cube 180 degrees, down, down, up, up. And that gets you a three cycle, which you solve exactly like you did before. So we find our top sticker, we put it at the back, down, down, up, up, 180 degrees, down, down, up, up. Similarly, for the opposite case, we roll it so that white and yellow are on the sides, and we do the same thing. Doesn't matter how you hold it, as long as you're holding the white and the yellow facing the sides, not front to back, not top to bottom, like this. And again, down, down, up, up, 180 degrees, down, down, up, up. And again, that gets you a three cycle, so we take our solved piece, put it on the bottom, find our top sticker, put it at the back, and down, down, up, up, 180 degrees, down, down, up, up. And that is how you solve the skew. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give a like. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave it in the comments below. Please remember to subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications on this channel. And as always, remember to stay corny, and I'll see you in my next video.